Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and here with another video. This time we're going to be checking out the Automatic 11.11 1.6 release candidate, which has an implementation of stable diffusion for XDXL that is a lot better than before. It's a bit like twice as fast as before. Here are my images from the If Prom Maker. And if you have seen my videos about the If Prom Maker, basically I just gave it like a small prom, like a more Japanese Tokyo apartment, luxury Tokyo apartment. And as you can see here, it has like this big prom that it gave me as an answer and all the images that I just show you. And you can see here that it's taking more samplers now with the XDXL in the post for automatic. We can see that in a minute. I was using 70 steps and with the refiner to 0.8. Before I was using this extension for the refiner, but the new one is a lot better. It's integrated with automatic now and it's a lot better the implementation. And I recommend you also to use this XDSL styles extension that is super cool. I use the architectural for these ones and the horror for the other ones that I'm gonna show you in a minute. And basically it's like focus that had all those styles in there when I show you the video. Basically this one also has style selection after you make your prompt. It's super amazing. Just go and look into extensions, into the downloads and check for that XDXL styles. I'm gonna link the description. And I'm gonna show you also another extension that I'm using that is super cool. It's this infinite image browser. As you can see here, I have a Wendigo that I was doing with my if prompt maker. And this is also from the same prompt and it's super cool and again the image so this extension is super cool to browse the things that you have done in your computer your images and you can select your folders and everything so to get this running really fast like i have it in my computer you can come into settings and have make sure that you have these modes loaded on memory all the time so this will take about 10 gig or 12 gig of ram to have them loaded all the time but you're gonna have to Come here into the buy section and select one here. So this will load the buy all the time in memory. And then in a stable diffusion, you have to select two here for the maximum of modes that you can have at one time, right? So basically the base and the refiner will be loaded all the time and it won't waste time loading them and making everything super slow. And that's the way to do it. And also another thing that you have to do is going to your flags and write the X formers flags, the med VRAM flags, and the no half by too. And if you want to use the if from maker, uh, get the API too. I recommend you to check the if from maker. I also even made a, I train a llama model to make prompts and everything. So you can also use it with this text generation web UI. And if you want to check, here are the installation instructions from Automatic. I'm going to link this in the description. He goes about what things are implemented and all the work that he has been achieving with the team of people that is contributing to the Automatic 11.11 Git or the repository. And here we can see also, if you don't want to do the release candidate, but you feel a bit more uh, uh, risky, uh, you can use the Git checkout depth to get into the development uh, branch, right? And this one, I think it has like control net support right now. So you can go and check this. But if you wait like a week or so, I think it will be the release for the new thing. And that was all I think. Um, Automatic is getting better and better with SDXL. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any ideas of how to make it even faster because we all can use that speeds, right? So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.